What is up my guys and girls of YouTube? It's your boy Justin Omoe and I'm here finally to give you some quality content that y'all been yearning for. By the way, make sure to hit subscribe if you want to support your boy. We are almost at 100,000. 11,000 more to go or something like that? 11, no 19,000. I'm counting two ahead of myself. So go ahead and hit subscribe if you want to support your boy in the fullest. Make your boy actually make a living. And speaking of living, if you want to make a living making music, this video is going to help you. This video is the best recording setup for FL Studio 20. Technically 20.1. The reason why I'm making an update video for my last one is because a lot has changed. And this recent update really put the nail in the coffin in terms of um, killing it. Giving you the best audio recording setup like I'm going to show you. But before I get into the computer and show you, I'm going to go ahead and sponsor... No, I'm just playing. I'm going to show you these hardware equipments that I'm using. So if you guys and girls want to join along and get it, then go ahead. This is going to make your quality better. So if you want good audio quality and the best recording setup, you're going to need a great amplifier. And this is a Pro MPA uh, 2 from ART. 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 This is going to be the hardware preamp that I'm going to use. And instead of these uh, built-in preamps inside of this audio interface, these little things, I'm going to turn them all the way down and have this connected into this. This right here, by the way, is the Focusrite Scarlett 2i4 second generation. It's all I need for myself, aka the vocals and or guitars and or keyboard if I use it. You know, it's good for the home studio recording wannabe rapper. Alright guys and girls, let's go ahead and go into the computer and I'm going to show you exactly what to do. Alright guys and girls, here I am inside of FL Studio and let me go ahead and just close that. Here I have my microphone set up. If you don't know how to set your microphone up, go into the insert, click, go to here, where's the input, and then go to input one. If you don't have that option, you're probably super new to this, go to options, audio settings, and then select your device to be an ASIO device. If you have the same uh, focus right, just select that and you'll be good. Alt right is to move it right, alt left to move it left. I'm gonna put it over here in track number six for no reason. And yeah, here I have a beat that I made in like, I don't know, a minute. I think it just loops off of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and first drag the song into here, which I already did. Next, detect tempo. So I'm gonna click this, oh shit. I'm gonna click this little wave here, detect tempo, boom. All right, 132. And yes, boom, just like that. All right, now I could just go ahead and click the name of the beat, click track, and there it is inside of the mixer. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename it beat. F2 beat or middle click and then type beat, enter. And I renamed this microphone, obviously. Now that we have the beat uh, detected, we have to make sure it's on time. In this case, I'm gonna hold shift and scroll up to make that at the beginning. And uh, we can scroll like that. So if I put on the metronome. Up, two, three, four, yeah. Okay, cool. So we have that set. We have the microphone in. Now let's go ahead and put on effects for the microphone. So in the microphone, I'm gonna right click. Oh, well, yeah, I might as well go through the whole thing for y'all. No, actually, I'm gonna show you the third party stuff I use. Before I show you these little simple plugins uh, from Waves, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, make sure that your recording does not go over zero decibels. So see where the mouse is, zero? Yo, yo. So depending on how, lo how loud you're gonna be in the song, yeah you know, you have to monitor it. So if it's over zero decibels, lower down the gain, input gain on your interface or amplifier in order for you to not reach that level. Anywhere around negative six, negative three decibels, in this range, it's okay. Yeah, money ain't a thing for me. Money ain't a thing for me. So I'm in a good range here, all right? Let me go ahead and put on the effects and I'll show you what I have on. Okay, starting with this, 
This is a Q10. It's a parametric equalizer. It's similar to FL Studio's parametric EQ2. So let me go ahead and open these as well. Okay. Now here's a parametric EQ2. What you'll have to do is basically find the range, the sound that you don't like, and then drop it down. So in this case, I have, uh, let's go for number six here. Uh, yow, yow, yow. Now if I raise it up, yow, yow, yow. You hear that ringy, annoying noise? You don't want that. So drop it down just like that. So do that for the rest of the band. It's okay if you use parametric EQ2. You're using the best of what you got. Next, I have a de -esser. This is on too hard. So what's good, my guys and girls? So what's good? So what's good, my guys and girls? Yeah. Ooh. So what's good, my guys? So what's good? So what's good? You can see how it reduces the syllables, which is the sounds. All right, uh, equivalent to that, you could run a Maximus plugin. Uh, la, la, la. Boom. And then go to presets and select DSR narrow or split narrow. There you go. And yeah, I'm not gonna show you the examples. Well, maybe I'll switch over. After that, we're gonna want a EQ and a compressor. So again, the EQ will be a fruity parametric EQ like that. And then the compressor could be a limiter. And I'll, I already made videos on these plugins. I could probably update them if you want. But yeah, in this case, I'm using the Solid State Logic board. So here it is. Yeah, money ain't a thing to me. Money ain't a thing to me. And don't ask why I'm saying money ain't a thing to me. It's actually part of like a couple lyrics I wrote just for this example. It's not a song I'm making. So I want to mix the song to how I like it. So over here on this side is just a parametric EQ. It's uh, the same thing as me doing, hey, I like this. Hey, I like that. Hey, let's reduce this and uh, make it less of a bell. So this is the bell shape thing. Notice the similarities there. So yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. And then compression is the same thing as, you know, lowering the threshold, putting on the ratio as it's done here. After you use the EQ and compression, we're gonna want to have a sound good eyes or something to excite the voice to your liking. These are little touch ups. So in this case, I have one knob fatter and one knob brighter. So these are from one knob from waves. Similar to that is going to be, uh, where are you? The sound gooderizer, as I like to call it. Boom. So that's the equivalence to uh, the one knob brighters. There's more plugins that you can use, but this is the basic rundown on them. Depending on what you like will be, you know, what you want. So I'm just gonna stick with these in this case, in this example. Now we have our effects loaded to our uh, microphone the way we like it. Now we're gonna have to play the beat and see what fits good, what sounds good for the artist who's recording, what, feel, what feels like he fits in. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. Yeah, hey, running out here. Right now, right now it sounds like I'm way louder than the beat, which is true. Um, I would want to mix it in, make it better. Yeah, money ain't a thing. Yeah, running out here, look at the rings. I don't know, Sonic, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Chronic, the Chronic. You already know about that one, kids. Stay in school, run up in this bitch. Take off the metronome. I'm out here in the dome. Running through freestyling, you already know the damn thing. Uh, I hope you know what I mean. It's been a long time since I've did shit, <laughs> make music, but hopefully I'm gonna break back into it. But you see, when I speak, yeah, this is how I sound. This is how I want to sound all damn around. You are such a bitch. So you can see the comparison between, yeah, I sound like I'm fitted. Running through this bitch like 50 Cent got shot up. Yeah, I'm rhyming. This sounds weird. I don't want to rap over my beat when my voice is loud like this. Like, what the hell, man? It doesn't even work. I sound like uh, that dumb rapper that people like nowadays. But just know that when you rhyme or when you're speaking, you got a good mix on your vocals. Notice that I lowered this instead of raising anything up. And if your vocals is way too low, or if, if, if your vocals is at this range already and the beat is louder, obviously you lowered the beat. 
Okay, we got the main part done. Let's go ahead and get into the part where we record. Okay, so in order to record, FL Studio 20 has a new thing right here, this little effects uh, disable enable thing. This, when you hit pre, that means the recording is gonna record before any of these effects and before this fader is applied. I believe the fader, the fader, yeah. Okay, the reason why we want this to be pre is because we want to record the raw vocal recording. We want the raw recording so we can be able to tweak it afterwards. All right, in order to record now, we can right click here, track mode, audio track, click the lead vocals. So let me, let me go ahead, mic, and then uh, right click. Where are you? Track, audio track, mic, boom. Just like that, this A right here is like A. We armed, we, we in this, we attached. So notice when I hit record over here, it does the record as well. So that's what we want. We want this red to be on to record, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit record. Right now I'm gonna record the chorus. Keep in mind, I, I suck, I just wrote this, and I'm, I don't care about my performance. You guys should care about your performance. So yeah, um, I'm gonna put on a metronome, and lower it down a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and hit record, and or I'm gonna hit play, and record my stupid lines. Yo, money anything to me, money anything to me. Toss it like a frisbee, yeah. Toss it like a frisbee, yeah. Money anything to me, money anything to me. Toss it like a frisbee, toss it like a frisbee. Okay, here we go. Here's my vocals, which I could double click and rename to chorus like that. Just like that, we have our chorus recorded. And I'll just turn that little piece there. Now notice I'm gonna turn off this and hear this. Money anything to me. Money anything to me. Now I'm gonna put on the effects. Money anything to me. Money anything to me. Toss it like frisbee, yeah. So you can see that with the effects slot off, it changes the effects. AKA, we recorded this thing raw. All right, after you get your chorus, you wanna record, I don't know, the verse, like in my case. What we have to do is mute it, either mute it or put this into another slot. So if you have another slot that has the effects set on it, uh, you know, like, you know, you could put it there. But the reason why we want to move that track out the way is because if we have it in the original five or six, and if we hit record, Toss it like frisbee. Toss it like frisbee. You can see that it records what's played. So I hit Control Z and delete it there. Um, that's something that I wish they could change or um, improve on because, you know, it's tedious. But in this example, let's go ahead and just uh, move it out the way. We could mute it if we want. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I moved it. So I'm going to go ahead and record another take. So let me just delete that right there. I don't know why. Toss it like frisbee. Yeah. Toss hey. it like frisbee. Yeah. Throwing it out by the racks. Don't need a hope for it back. Like your heart beating real fast. I get it as easy as that. Yeah. So there we go. We got the next set here. It's in six as well. Uh, is there a way to route it to? I don't know if there's a way to route it. Yeah, I don't think there's any other way to route it except for manually just switching it up a couple. But, you know, just that's something we got to live with for now until they improve or if there is an improving, this is probably the best thing we got. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, toss it like... God damn. <laughs> toss it like frisbee. Yeah. Toss hey. it like frisbee. Yeah. Throwing it out by the racks. So if you want, you could do file and then save mixer track and throw it in here. And then if you hit play, toss it like frisbee. Yeah. Toss hey. it like frisbee. Yeah. Throwing it out by the racks. All right, cool. Just like that, we have a good setup here. Okay. Now that we have our, let's just name this verse and chorus. Let's say, hey, we want to do ad libs or some bullshit. Keep in mind. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go ahead and record again. R, hit space. Money anything to me. Nah. Money anything to me. It ain't. Toss it like frisbee. Yeah. Toss it like yeah. frisbee. Yeah. 
Uh-huh. Money ain't a thing to me. Yeah, Adelaide. Money ain't a thing to this me. This is my Adelaide. Toss it like Frisbee. Yeah. Toss hey, it like uh, Frisbee. Yeah. Throwing it out by the I'm racks. on beat. Don't need a whole yeah. foot back. Adelaide. Like your heart beating real fast. Uh, I get it as easy offset. as that. Offset. Offset. Okay, so you see I recorded my ad-libs, and let's say, hey, I don't like it. You could right-click this right here, this insert here, delete, and track is about to delete. Boom. It's gone, but it's still here. The fuck? Hold on, let me see. If I right-click, delete, yes. Okay, so if you delete up here, if you right-click the main thing, you say, hey, I don't like any of it. Do you want to also remove all the audio clips and linked automation as well as subtracks and reset the linked mixer track? That means to reset this shit, I think. Let's go ahead and hit yes and, you know, yellow. Shit. It's all gone. Oh, what a waste of life. Why would you... Money, anything? Okay, cool. One more time for the ad libs. Let's do this right. Right back. DD killed like your heart uh, beating Tupac. real fast. But that's gonna be basically the recording setup you'll want for this. So right click ad libs. This way you're organized. And if you want to put this in its own thing, you could click track and then it'll get routed. But this is the way that you should record your ish. That's how you do the ish. So thank you guys and girls for watching. Hopefully you guys and girls learned something from this. Don't forget to thumbs up and hit subscribe to support your boy, Justin Omoe. And with that being said, peace. I'm going to see you guys and girls on the next one.